everyone and welcome to my channel and this month's pink parcel unboxing oh it actually feels not too light I was like does it feel heavy does it not I don't know we will see so anyway if you're new to my channel or new to these videos I am Tash McZombie and welcome and this is my monthly pink parcel unboxing which I film these almost every month um there's been a couple months where i haven't there we go that's better <laughs> i'm so small that i need to make my chair bigger um and yeah so i like filming these with you all sharing with you all what i got in my pink parcel and hearing from you all what you got if you got something different so if you're new pink parcel is a monthly subscription service and what makes it different is it's a period subscription service um so this is where it comes in it comes in your big box it does come like wrapped up in like a plastic bag and i just take that off because you don't need to see me opening that and so when you open her up you do this bit and this is new they now have like more kind of secure when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. I'll try and pop that. There we go. This is what it looks like. So you get your pink parcel post, which tells you everything that you get in your box, which I'll look at that later. And... Okay, this is a... To do with uh, female votes is the art talk project we'll look at that later you usually get coupons ah right so this is new i didn't know this was here i was like why do we have so we have our return bag so it says here so this is new love your pink parcel want to give back to those who really need it let's fight period poverty which is a thing that's very close to my heart as someone who Basically, okay, the reason I subscribe to this service and what really made me go for it was basically, I mean, we're poor. Like, okay, me and Grant both work, but we were both students for years and we have a child and yeah, money ain't great, Tory Britain. Um, anyway, and the reason I started subscribing to this, so this cost me about £10 a month. I know it has gone up to about £12.99 a month for new subscribers. I know that kind of sucks, but I can't do anything about that. And the reason I subscribed to this was I did notice, like, oh, and if you get periods, you'd know this to yourself, possibly. Like, there's nothing worse than, like, checking your cupboard or your drawer, your bathroom, I'm finding out you're out of tampons or pads and it's the middle of the night, you can't get to the shops or if you have no money and let's face it, cheap pads, cheap tampons, they suck. They do. There's there's no two words around it, they do, they suck. And what's so shit is period tax, why, why should we even have to pay for period products is beyond me. We shouldn't have to pay for them at all, it's a necessity. And yeah, I've been there um, where you're like, I don't even have the money to afford the proper care that I need right now. So period poverty is something close and near and dear to my heart. I grew up poor, I'm still poor, not as poor as I was, but I have been there. And it is something close to my heart and it is like I have friends, they do period packing parties. I've still to go to them. I promise I will make it to one. And... I'm kind of uh, on a bit of a tangent because I didn't know this was going to be in here. So now I'm on a tangent. Um, yeah. And the reason I subscribed to this was so it works out so much cheaper for me personally to subscribe to this for £10 a month. I get more than a month's worth of period products. Like literally. My house is like overflowing with sanitary towels right now. And... 
I do. I, I have keep saying to myself, I get more than I need. I need to start giving back because they do. They give you way more than you could ever need in a month and more than you would buy in the shop for a fraction of the price considering you get a ton of goodies on top of it. So basically you're just paying for your sanitary products and all the makeup, all the skincare, hair care you get, etc. basically works out for free. And that's why I subscribe. That's why I still subscribe because it saves me money each month. It means I'm never caught short and I get goodies and it's fun film to film with you. But I mean, I've been subscribed to this for like a year before I even started filming this for you guys. So that's kind of my own ethos behind it. And if that is appealing to you, I will link them down below if you want to subscribe, if, you, if that's something that sounds good to you. But I digress. That was a whole awkward way of saying why I subscribed to this because now I'm so excited about the of this. So, clean, clear, it says clear your cupboards and make a difference. Simply pop any unopened and unused tampons or pads into the prepaid postage bag we have included and send them back to us for free. We'll get them distributed to our local charity partners and into the hands of those in need. A cleared out cupboard and warm fuzzies for donating to people who otherwise wouldn't have access to femme care. That's a win-win. Thank you for your support. I'm not going to get into like the ideology behind how donating to charity makes you feel good. Because it does. It does. Let's face it. That's why we do it. It makes us feel good. Um, but that is actually really, really good because I honestly have way more than I need. And I like that they're including this. Now, they could just donate them themselves. I know that that's a thing. I see this with makeup PR. They send the bags and be like, donate all your unwanted makeup that's unused. And I'm like, well, why can't you just give it out? That's a whole other thing. I know donating to charities and companies is a whole complex matter. But I like putting the politics aside I like that it is there because it, I guess it is making people more aware people could be subscribed to the service and unaware that period poverty is a thing because a lot of people are very delusional to that but anyway ramblings aside of why this is awesome this underneath all the paperwork this is what your box will look like so I just get pads I don't like tampons I don't do tampons so you get a little bag which is really cute they've changed the design a couple times I actually quite like this pink one so it's just like a pale pink with these little drops it says for now and it's just got your pads and tampons and stuff and you know whatnot just to pop into your bag when you're out and about and on the go it's easy to use it holds lots it's better than the tins and it's discreet enough because period shaming is a thing and you know sometimes you don't want to be walking around with a tampon in your hand and you get a box filled with ones to save for later I usually just pop these in my bathroom and I'm ready to go and again this is just filled with tons of product for you to use and then you get your nighttime ones as well and again, that's filled up with your nighttime supply. So how this works is when you sign up, you fill in like your online form. So you put in when you get your period. Everyone gets charged at the same time. You get charged on the second of the month. But you decide when you have it delivered. You decide what products you want, whether it's pads, whether it's tampons. You can pick what brand you want. You can pick what like thickness, strength depending on your own period it is a very much customizable and catered to you which is another thing that i love about pink parcel is it is very much what you want and what you need personally they don't just send you stuff like the average woman or man would need not at all um it is very much catered to you anyway now for I guess what you're all here for, the more exciting part, which is the four, ooh, it is quite weighty this month, for you box. And that is what I unbox here on this channel. So, and as it says, for you, a little something to cheer you up. So how this works, it's kind of, what I've noticed is kind of similar to like Birchbox, that 
and this is why I don't subscribe. I'm not shading Birchbox, but this is why I don't subscribe to it because I actually feel that you get more in the pink parcel for the same amount of money. And usually it's the same products because companies send the same stuff to all the subscription services. I've kind of noticed that watching other unboxings. Comment below if that's something you've noticed because this is something I've noticed. I'm not throwing shade. Anyway, so in here you you always get a tea bag. Once we got coffee, and you get a sweet so usually it is chocolate sometimes you put in a healthier option or something a bit different once we got like these little meringues they were really cute so you always get a tea sample and a food sample whether that be usually it's chocolate sometimes it could be something else and that's what you get every month because tea and chocolate is wonderful when you're on your period especially herbal teas because they're all good for your insides and then what else you get you get a mixture of hair care skin care makeup we've had razors we've had different body washes all sorts i personally love makeup makeup is my thing i love makeup so very very much if you can tell um i know this is a a look i'm doing today and yeah so Let's open it up. I think I've managed to avoid any spoilers this month. I think. There may be one product I may have seen. But that could have been from a month I didn't get. And they were just talking about it. So I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I see something from a brand we've received before. And I'm really excited. So just opening it up. This is all I can see. I know there's a brand there that we've had before. That I'm excited about. But I can't see anything else. So... Um, this is the Drink Me Chai Spiced Chai Latte. So this is our drink sample. So an instant blend of aromatic spices with skim milk and sweetened black tea. So this is 99% caffeine free. It's gluten free. It's 68 calories per cup when made with water. So you can make this with hot water or steamed milk for cafe style. It's actually a really good sample. It's a simple serving. I really like the packaging. I've never seen this one. Chai lattes are one of those things that I keep telling myself, like, I love spiced tea. I like milk. Why don't I drink them? Well, I mean, I argue when I made a... I was baking a spiced tea cake. I actually made a spiced chai latte cake the other day. And I was like, when I was heating up the tea and the milk on the pan, I was like, why don't I drink this? This is what a chai latte is. Anyway. So, yeah. Oh, and we donate a percentage of our profits to Pratham, a charity helping disadvantaged children in India to read. So, that is awesome. So, that's our tea sample. So I'm going to go in with this big thing, which is a thing that weighs a ton. So this is Vegan by Dr. Botanicals and it is a coconut oil rejuvenating body exfoliating bar. Now Dr. Botanicals is so expensive. We got our rose oil for our face. Like, he's saying we. I got like a rose oil and I put it on last night. That thing was the sample size and the sample size cost like £50. Like this is an expensive brand but they're really good. Like that rose oil is amazing. Oh my god this smells so good. I wish like you could smell. Because So this is it here. So it's got this like kind of nice cardboard packaging. So you get 100 grams. So, lather up in the bath or shower using your hands and rinse thoroughly. Caution, discontinue if irritation occurs. So this is cruelty free and vegan. Just because a product is vegan doesn't mean it's cruelty free. And just because the product's cruelty free doesn't mean it's vegan. Just putting that out there because that's something companies will get you with. And it's really infuriating. Wow, this is massive. And I've already got a nail dent in it. It smells so good. So this is it here. It's this massive like block. And you can kind of see there's like grains in it. Which is obviously like the exfoliating part. I think it's probably sugar. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's got like coconut shell powder. And lots of things I don't know. But anyway, that's that. So again, that's by Dr. Botanicals. And this is Vegan by Dr. Botanicals. It's just called Vegan. Oil. Unless that's like a 
like an offshoot brand on it. I don't know. But still, that's really cool. And okay, there's a couple things. I can see one thing that I'm like, oh, we've had so many things. Anyway, I'll get to that later. Um, right, we'll do the chocolate sample. So our chocolate sample this month is the Dark Side Conscious Organic Raw Chocolate. So free from dairy, soya and gluten, naturally sweetened with agave nectar. And this is by Organic Farmers Growers Certified, Certified Vegan, Conscious, the Dark Side Chocolate. I'm assuming this is just like a dark chocolate bar. And it is dairy, soya and gluten free. So that's really good. Next, we have the... Nail Bay Natural and Organic Organic Orange Juice Hand Cream. Ooh, I've been using Focus. Focus. Here we go. No. Are we gonna focus? Uh, what am I doing? There we go. I think. So this is exciting. I've been using a lot. My hands have been really, really dry. Put some Ooh, I love orange. So this is your regenerative hand cream. We get 35 mils. Okay, it feels nice. It doesn't feel too greasy. Well, a little greasy. It's quite thick. It smells really good. It smells like a glass of orange juice. But like a nice glass of orange juice, not like a warm glass of orange juice. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, that smells so nice. Okay, so that's a pretty good size. So this is also cruelty free and it is also vegan. So I think they have listened to people because a lot of people were complaining that they were sending out makeup products that weren't cruelty free or gluten free or vegan friendly products and a lot of people had unsubscribed for that. Or at least there were questions I was being asked a lot. So I definitely have noticed a huge difference in their products. So it says 99.27% of the total ingredients are from natural or Origin and 22.32% of the original. The total ingredients are from organic farming. I mean, organic farming is a lie, but you know. Anyway, people like the word organic. It's a buzzword. Okay, next we have from Optiat, which we had on a product from them not that long ago. This is a purifying and exfoliating face mask with marine superfoods, English hemp, and activated charcoal. This is tiny. Oh, right, okay. Single use only. Mix the powder with a little warm water to form a paste. Then gently massage into your skin. Leave up to 10 minutes, then rinse. So this says it's made in the UK. It doesn't say if it's cruelty free. This is a hundred. Well, it says it's vegan, sustainable, and organic, 100% natural. Um, it doesn't say anything about its cruelty free status, so I mean, I'm assuming it is. It has no lemongrass, so I can use it. Okay, that's a powder. That's different. Because I thought, honestly, this was like a face mask, like liquid. And I was like, oh, I'm going to cover my face. We've had a product by this brand before, which was like the coffee body scrub, which I actually really liked. I used it the other day. Um, and it was actually quite nice. So that's exciting. And then we have, so we've had stuff by this brand before as well. So this is Anatomicals. Sad the lot of you get lost grime body cleanser. So mar it's marvelous mango and papaya, and then in the back it's got this little cartoon guy saying the world stinks, but I don't. And then it's got this other guy here. Superhero says, Is this a sachet? Is it a tin can? Is it a cardboard box? No, it's recycle man. And if you don't recycle all our packaging, he'll track you down and recycle you. Oh my god, that is amazing. That makes me happy. So this is a paraben-free formula. This is made in the UK. I, I think they're a cruelty-free band because I brought from them before. So it's got like a cute little thing on the back, which I'll just read to you. So it says, drivers who deliberately zoom through puddles and soak you. Six foot four people in top hats who sit in the movie theater seat in front of you. Dry cleaners who return your clothes with more stains on them than when you took them in. Call centre operators who are interject with, shouting is not going to get you anywhere, is it? 
To all these and more, Anatomicals invite you to see Sud the Lot of You and shower with this relaxing gel, then chuck the tube at the next idiot who annoys you. I anatomicals make really funny like puns and stories i have like an eye bag mask and it's like puffy the eye bag slayer and it just makes me laugh we had like a face mask from them or a hair mask and it was all like grease themed so it could have been a hair mask but that's really cute papaya and mango sound amazing so i'm probably just gonna pop this like in my gym bag since it's just like a sample which is why i like sample sizes and then last but not least Oh, right, we will see. We will see. I'm on the fence. Okay, so, so the shade is very pretty. And this is another Larzity, Larzity, Laritzy, how you pronounce it, lip pencil. We have received, or I have at least received, a few pencils from this brand if i can find the other one here it is i have two here from the same brand and uh, i've received i never used lip liners till i started getting them in pink parcels well no i did but like not regularly and now i use lip pencils all the time and I have other lip pencils so don't get me wrong i love that pink parcel has introduced me to the world of lip pencils but this brand, it kind of sucks. Like, this is a lip pencil we got months ago. This is the one in Deep Orchid. And like, yeah, that looks pigmented. It's really hard, but it is really, it, the pencil is so hard. And then this is an eye pencil in night blue. And like, you can't really see, but like, I have to push really, really hard for that to get any color. And you don't want to have to push that hard on your eye. They're just... I'm going to show you a comparison. So this is what I'm wearing today, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner. I can open it. My hands are greasy now. And like... I'm hardly pushing down. You see the difference? You see the difference? And this is what bugs me, is this is so creamy. And it just glides on. Like, I'll show you even with like this copper one might be better. Like, boom. I didn't even push down. I know they're two different, completely different brands, but this brand is really expensive. And I just feel like I'm kind of sick of getting them. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't have a berry lip liner. This is paraben free. It doesn't say if it's cruelty free. Oh, okay. It looks like it's metallic. So, I can tell. It looks like it's metallic. So, this is it here. And then, let's see. It's really dry. It's brown. It's not going to pick up on camera. Like, it looks nicer on camera than it does in real life. But, it isn't very, very pretty. It's brown. Am I tripping? I mean, look at that there. That's a metallic liner. This is supposed to be. Like, look at the difference. Okay. Sorry, this video is going in a hole. I was obviously in the mood to talk. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm just... This is the third pencil we've had from this brand in our pink parcel. And maybe other people love them. Maybe that's why we keep getting them. I'm not going to complain because... More makeup. And this is dropping in stuff on the floor. I love makeup. Especially... I like getting lip liners and eyeliners. I just wish they were from a different brand. Anyway, okay. Okay, I have mixed feelings on this box. So let's quickly talk through how, what it says in our pink parcel post. And let's see what it's saying. So the lip liner and the body scrub are full size, which is good. Full size products. So, the Nail Bay Orange Juice with Hand Cream 
It's formulated with shea butter and aloe vera to combat dry skin and redness, plus orange juice scent is delicious. So this costs £11.50 for 100 mils in full size. You can buy this at Pink Parcel Shop. I will link all the links. I'm not going to like list them all here because it's already really long. So then we have the Lar, the Lar Itzy Pencil in various. So if you got this, let me know what colour you got down below because I'd be curious to see what colour you got and what you think if it performs better than this one. <sighs> Okay, this literally says, back by popular demand. We have a whole host of new Laritzi lip pencil shades. This month you'll receive one of four sultry scarlet or lustrous gold eye pencils. See, I would rather get a gold eye pencil. Maybe. They're hard. That's perfect for highlighting or even adding an iridescent sheen. So these are £18 a pencil. £18 for a lip liner is ridiculous in my opinion. By popular. by popular demand. Popular demand. Who's demanding this? No one. Or people who like dry pencils. I'm sorry. That is really harsh. I just... It's freaking brown. Anyway. Moving on. I'm happy to get makeup. But I'm not happy with that pencil. Okay. So the Dr. Botanicals Coconut Oil Rejuvenating Exfoliating Bar. This is an antioxidant rich in collagen inducing coconut. Ranks highly in the Shelfie Heroes League. The shredded fruit gently exfoliates the skin while the creamy oil deeply hydrates uh, for locked in moisture. And this costs £19.90 for a full size. Which again is pricey but I don't mind because I like that brown. Okay. So... The Drink Me Chai Spiced Latte, these cost £2.30 for 250 grams and you can get this at Tesco. So switch up your morning cuppa for something a little sweeter. Stir in the powerful blend of spices and black tea into hot milk or a dairy alternative to enjoy an enchanting taste of India. Then the Conscious Chocolate, these are 80 pence per bar. Made with cocoa butter, cocoa powder and agave nectar, you can enjoy the benefits of organic dark chocolate without the bitter taste. I actually really like agave because that's what I use instead of sugar. Then the Atomicals Sud the Lot of You Body Cleanser. So this is a 15ml sample. A full size is 300ml for £3.79, which is another thing I like about Atomicals. They're really cheap. Escape from the everyday reality and transport yourself to a tropical paradise by surrounding yourself with the exotic fruity scents of papaya and mango. And in the Opi Optiat face mask, there's various. So one of them is a nourishing and hydrating with marshmallow root, English hemp, and activated charcoal. I mean, this one's marine superfoods. So get the spa feeling going wherever you are by mixing your own hemp mace face mask made with 100% natural ingredients. The combo of high quality ingredients will polish away dead skin cells quickly and effectively. And this costs 17 99 for 30 grams and there's one gram in here. So, I mean, this alone costs way more than your box. This pencil alone costs more than you pay for your box. So I'm happy we got two full size products. Uh, I started this video on such a positive note and my husband keeps saying to me he's like you keep getting products you don't like why do you stay subscribed and the thing is I see this a lot with youtubers and subscriptions they get products they love they get products they hate it's really a luck of the draw because everyone is different and it's too complicated to send everyone you know the more like the makeup products and stuff. I mean, I'm excited about the body scrub. I think this will be nice. I'm excited to use the shower gel, even though it's a one use thing, but it sounds really nice. I like the hand cream. It smells nice. My hands feel really soft just after one use. I mean, I'll use the face mask. I love a face mask. I'll eat the chocolate. I drink this, I may give this to someone, maybe because I have a I have like over a hundred types of tea in my house. 
the lip liner I'm gonna I will use it because it's a color I could see working with some of my lipsticks am I happy about it no and I don't understand why people have asked for this brand to come back because honestly I think it sucks and that's really harsh and really horrible of me to say but when I compare to that L'Oreal one which okay L'Oreal isn't a cruelty free but I don't even know if this is cruelty free brand like the quality is insane it just glides on like god even like i have like these honestly are like primark lip liners they're just hard and they're stiff and they tug and if that's something you like that's fine if you're watching this going but i asked for those liners to come back i'm one of the people who demanded that then i am sorry if i've offended you like everyone has different tastes when it comes to makeup and I know, and I say this and I get upset when I see YouTubers come for like a makeup product that I love and they hate, I get it. It, it, it makeup is so subjective and so are subscription boxes. I mean, I loved last month's subscription, like the past couple of months I've loved. This month, honestly not so much. Like... I feel like it's a lot of practical products. I'm like, shower gel, practical. Hand cream, practical. Body scrub, face mask, practical. You know, it's very... This is a half hour video and I'm going on and on and on. I'm just trying to articulate my thoughts. Are... Uh, I'm still going to keep subscribing. And I'm not mad at the box. I'm happy we got a makeup product. I would have been even more angry if there was no makeup. I'm excited for... These are very... It's a very spa theme. We've got face mask, scrubs, shower gels, hand creams. All very scented, very fruity. We're into summer. You know, well, spring, summer, I don't know. It's very, like, body care, which is fine it's not my favorite i mean don't get me wrong i'm excited to use some of these products i will use all of the products i will even use a lip liner and if i turn around and love the lip liner i will update you on that i'm just a bit frustrated because i just i think that lip liner like i just don't understand why we keep getting that brand because i just don't think it's a good brand and they're really expensive and it, it does kind of bug me but that's a personal thing I know that is a very I know some people will probably be like they hated you know the more kind of gimmicky makeup with the cute packaging like I know it's Pink Parcel is a very wide demographic of older and younger subscribers and I'm kind of in the middle I'm 28 I like my makeup I like gimmicky products but then I like makeup that works and I don't like things for old people. Anyway. I'm sorry that this video took a bit of a negative turn. I didn't mean for that. I'm just very passionate about how much I dislike that eyelet lip liner. But if you did enjoy this video and can see past my ungrateful rant. Then please give this video a thumbs up if you are new here welcome i i'm not usually so negative um but please hit that subscribe button down below and then hit the notification bell next to subscribe button because that's the only way you will be notified when i upload new videos in your subscription feed because that's just something new youtube is doing usually i wouldn't go on about that but i have noticed it with channels i'm subscribed to i've been missing out on videos because i've not hit the bell and i've had to go through and hit the bell on it lots of like channels anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you subscribe to pink parcel comment down below what face mask and what color of liner you got because i think they were the two variable options this month and what did you think of this month's box do you prefer getting more like body skincare do you actually like this lip liner brand is it just me like comment below what you think and yeah I will see you all in my next one and I will put the prices and links to all these products and Pink Parcel in the description box below. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.